Oompa Boompa. <laughs> Emma swings in a hammock in the park and goes so high that her feet point to the sky. The girl is distracted looking at the clouds when her watch suddenly starts to vibrate and shows lots of colors and a super strange emoji. What's going on? She isn't in the park anymore. Her watch is magic and has transported her to another time and place. But where is she? The place is small and Emma feels strange. Her body doesn't weigh anything, as if she was floating in a pool. The girl discovers a circular window through which space can be seen, immense and dark. Hi, kid. I'm Mae Jemison. What are you doing inside the space shuttle Endeavor? Hi, Mae. I I'm Emma. The truth is that I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> But this is amazing! Your shuttle looks like the Millennium Falcon! Are we really in space? Yes, Emma. Since I was a girl like you, I always dreamed of going to space, and this is my first trip. I'm a doctor, and I'm the science specialist for this mission. Emma? Are you okay? Um... I feel a bit dizzy. Just like one time when I was in the car with my family, and... We started to climb a mountain road with lots of curves. My stomach feels funny. Oh, Emma, I've been investigating motion sickness on flights. Put this cold compress on your neck. I think it will help you feel better. And when you're well, I'll show you some frogs that I brought to do experiments in space. Oops, but the jar is empty. Houston, we have a problem. Where are the frogs? Houston, we have a problem. There are now three frogs floating in the space shuttle Endeavor. Emma and May laugh and try to catch them, but the nimble frogs float all over the shuttle. Laughing and jumping, Emma and May manage to return the frogs to the jar. Before becoming an astronaut, May Jemison joined the Peace Corps and worked as a doctor in Africa. After that experience, she was admitted to the NASA training program to start her career as an astronaut. May has been traveling through space for four days, and she still has four days left on this mission. Do you miss our planet when you travel in space? Yes, Emma, I miss it a lot. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. That's why I brought some things with me to keep me company and bring me beautiful memories, like this poster of a dance theater where I took classes in college, or this artwork from the African countries where I worked as a doctor. And that woman in that photo? Who is she? That's Bessie Coleman, the first African-American woman to become a pilot. Wow, what a brave woman. She inspires me. Emma and May are now looking at space through the shuttle's small window. Is it always so dark and quiet here? What if you run out of fuel? Is there a gas station in space? Oh, sorry, May, I'm asking lots of questions, but this is so exciting. Emma, you don't have to apologize. My parents were the best scientists I knew because they always ask questions. Plus, you just gave me a great idea. Girls and boys are so curious and have such creative questions that it would be wonderful to create a science camp for all of them. And will we be able to sleep in the tents looking at the sky full of stars? Of course, Emma, responds May, and they hug and say goodbye to each other. May Jemison was born in Alabama in the United States in 1956. She is an engineer, doctor, and NASA astronaut. For some years now, she's been organizing the The Earth We Share International Science Camp for children and teens. Curious and brave people, clever and passionate people. There are people who changed the history of the world, and Mae Jemison is one of them. Hi, 
parents, this message is for you. If you enjoy this podcast, check out Papumba with over 500 learning activities, including games, books, videos, yoga, and more. Your little ones will never be bored. Download Papumba today 